the obvious reason. She is a math prodigy. Um, but I think, you know, when a child is, is that advanced um, intellectually, um, it makes them more advanced emotionally, more mature. So she's able to have conversations with, you know, uh, Roberta and, and have her as her best friend because she's wise beyond her years. Young Catherine uh, in Hidden Figures is similar to Mary because they're both uh, math geniuses. And, uh, you know, that analytical brain um, just is able to <laughs> break down things in a very different way. They're both very special, very smart kids. Life for child prodigies. Um, they live in a world that's very different from, from, and they see the world very differently from most people than, than most people. Um, it's, I, I imagine the way they showed um, young Catherine how she saw numbers and, and shapes and it's constantly dissecting things in that way. Um, and that's how she associates things. Um, uh, so it can be a little isolating because they live in their minds a lot. Um, and sometimes it makes them a little antisocial, so you have to bring them out of their shells because they're so into their minds and into their intellect, which is why I love and um, how Frank deals with, with Mary and tries to give her the most normal life. It's funny, I hadn't even thought about um, what it was like to work with, with these uh, child prodigy. Uh, well, you know, I, I worked with uh, Catherine when she was older, um, but um, I think it's wonderful. I think it's great. I think it's that it, it, it is feeling like um, intellect is being celebrated and math and science uh, should be celebrated and especially young girls should be pushed into those areas, uh, or, you know, if they are so inclined. So it was it was fun for me to be a part of it. I hope Gifted will, will spark um, young girls' interest in math. I think what it will say to young girls who um, uh, possess that aptitude, that it's okay to be smart, that you don't have to um, uh, uh, cover uh, for being smart, it's, it's, it's good. Uh, and, and, and I think it, it should allow parents to help foster that curiosity. The message that girls can excel in math, I think, look around, <laughs> um, you know, some of the lead accountants, you know, all around us. When I go to, um, you know, my accounting firm, I see a lot more women. Um, so uh, I, I think um, we have to stop uh, placing gender norms on things. And, and uh, I think uh, when we do that and we allow the best person for the job to uh, to inhabit that role, then we won't have these problems. So hopefully more films like Gifted and Hidden Figures will sort of demystify what it is to be a female mathematician or scientist. What I hope uh, the uh, young girls and uh, young boys too, um, take away from Gifted, um, just as I hope that they, one of the things they took away from, from Hidden Figures is um, uh, science and math have been around forever. And uh, the more you allow yourself to be open to those prospects of what it will mean to you to understand it, um, and, and you can actually educate other people around you um, if you have that capacity. A lot of people don't have that capacity. And if you are one of those children who has that capacity to learn that material and love it and embrace it, don't be ashamed of that. Um, Tell the world, and, and, and uh, hopefully your parents will, will find outlets so that it can be nurtured.
I adore um, everyone on the film. We had, Savannah's a magical place, and it was a magical crew, cast and crew. When I was the first person to sign on to the film, and I have a small role, so they had to wait until they, they got um, their leads. And when I found out it was gonna be Chris, that he was circling the project, of course, I put in a call. And I, um, I'm glad that he, he took the part because he's, he's a special guy. It takes a special kind of person to, to inhabit this role and um, make you feel the way that you do. It takes a special kind of director to be able to earn the feelings that we um, experience while watching the film. There is no other McKenna Grace. Um, when you look into those eyes and you just see the world through her eyes, and and it, it was it was it was a wonderful experience for me.